as soon as soon as we pressed record. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What if I just put a pen? Oh uh, yeah, see, yeah. <laughs> that is as so soon funny. as we started to record. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> She's in the swing back there, swinging away. And so this is a perfect time to do our third, our fourth Q&A. This is our fourth Q&A. Yeah, postpartum Q&A. Yes. We did a first trimester, second trimester, third trimester. Now we're in the fourth trimester. After, baby. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to be filming a Q&A about just postpartum and becoming parents for the first time. I had asked you guys to ask me some questions on my Instagram, and that is basically what we're going to be doing today. If you don't know, we had our baby on February 4th. It is currently February 28th. You guys will probably be seeing this, though, like March. Something. I don't Ooh, know. Ooh, on my birthday. Everybody wish Madeline a happy birthday. My birthday is March 4th, so you should be seeing it on that day and she'll be a month old and you'll be 25 <laughs> let's get started how's the healing process tell us more about your experience and the physical healing afterwards i had a micro tear it was not like a major one but i did tear during labor i had a vaginal birth i would say that the healing process i'm still healing right now um it's been three weeks but it's been a little bit better right oh yeah for sure um, those first few days, it burns so bad going pee. You um, said it was almost as hard as as like the third trimester in pregnancy getting up to go pee. Oh yeah. Like I just really, I couldn't walk very well. That's another reason why like Steven had to like wake up a lot during the middle of the night because I couldn't like get up to go get her and stuff. It just hurt when you walked because like obviously your legs are like rubbing. It was just very sore down there. If you do your like, little regimen thing, like they'll give you like stuff to numb the pain down there and cool it down with like some foaming stuff and whatnot. I would definitely look up like videos and stuff on aftercare to help with that process to make it not as like hurting. I would say I'm week three now and it is a lot better. A lot, lot better. I remember right before you gave birth, a lot of stuff came up on your TikTok, like that for you page basically being like, look, if you have a vaginal birth, this is what you need to like- Prepare for- A better, and yeah, and have a better healing process. And then there's also one for a C-section. And so like, mm -hmm. I think TikTok is probably your best friend right here, seeing all the different kind of opportunities you can take. Yeah, and all the stuff that you could like prepare before you go in for your birth. Three weeks in, almost four weeks, and I am finally feeling a lot better. It's kind of at the ending of the day is when it starts getting really sore, and if I'm sitting in a certain position, I can like feel the stitches like getting They'll pulled. They'll get caught, yeah. Yeah, not very fun, but it has been a lot better than I thought it was gonna be and luckily I am healing quickly. How are you both dealing in terms of taking care of little Luna, especially at night? Kind of some- I think her passy okay. fell out. I'll be right back. She's going to <laughs> I And we can hold her if she's going to yeah. keep. You got seat jacked. <laughs> Michael took a seat. Michael are you, just laid down. Are you kidding me? Really, Michael? <laughs> this is so chaotic. This is our first time filming since having Luna. Yeah. Like, this, like, like a, a sit-down sit down video. video, yeah. We haven't filmed since her first pediatrician appointment. Mm -mm. Hey, get up, boy. Which was three weeks ago. Get up, boy. Some nights, Madeline will actually go to sleep around like 10, 30, 11, and I'll stay up until like one to give Luna her last bottle. And Madeline can sleep a little bit longer until the three hour mark, so probably around like, or two to three hour mark, which is around like three or four in the morning. Mm -hmm. So that gives her from 10 or 11 to four. And so some nights we'll do that. Some nights we'll just stay up together and go to sleep at one o'clock, do her last bottle feeding. <laughs> Dude, guys, this is insane. And swaddle her up and then get her ready for bed. Uh, so it kind of really just depends. Oh my God. <laughs> We're gonna have to take that. And so, yeah, we'll just get her swaddled. <laughs> <laughs> we need to put that in the other room. It's the cat toy that we got. That all I got. Then the cat toy. Everybody is being so bad for that. <laughs> I know. Me is being good. Kid. Restart the 11 o'clock. Me going to sleep at 11. Then we'll stay up. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes we'll both stay up. Yeah. There you go. So we'll do that. Sometimes, actually, last night I woke up and you didn't. You remember that? <laughs> when? I fed her a bottle at like five. Do you not remember? I stayed up from five to seven. I woke up to pump. Oh, yeah. Maybe I fell asleep a little bit during then. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, dude, it is crazy. The <laughs> sleep 
whatever. Anyway. Honest, okay, never mind. Yeah. Um, so, Steven. I'll wake up sometimes and she'll wake up sometimes and we'll take turns. We'll let the other one sleep. And mm -hmm. that's basically it. Sorry that Normally, out. I wake up to pump and then I'll wake him up to give her a bottle because I can't do both at the same time. It'll take so much longer for her to pump, clean all the stuff out and then feed her whenever she can pump, clean her stuff out, and I could feed her, maybe While change her diaper. While I'm doing it, yeah. yeah. And then also we have to change. That was my bad. Oh, yeah. oh my God, this is I like know. freaking stressing me out right now. <laughs> I'm about to go pick her up. I'm about to just hold on to her. We are gonna try to do a video without holding her because I feel like we don't need to be holding her in every video. Once she's awake. Good morning. I tried to give you some privacy, but she wants to be on camera. That's what she said. Yeah. That's what she told me. All right. Well, we're going to have to hold her. What was the question? <laughs> Are we still on the same one? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Scratch all of that. Steven will. <laughs> God, this is such a disaster right now. As you can tell, we are not used to this <laughs> <laughs> filming and. I mean, this is the first time. Here. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, Stephen will wake up. Stop. <laughs> and then, okay, okay, okay. Okay. I will wake up to pump. I will wake Stephen up to feed her a bottle because if I don't do that, then I have to pump. Then, well, I would probably feed her first. Then. <laughs> oh, my Lanta. <laughs> Okay, I would pump. I would have to feed her first, then change her diaper, get her swaddled back up, get her back to sleep, and then pump, which would all take about like an hour. Um, not to mention to go clean my parts and all of that stuff. So I wake him up so that I can pump while he is feeding her, and then we will swaddle her, we'll change her diaper, swaddle her together, get her back to sleep, and then we go back to sleep. Just to cut that time a little bit in half. So that is what we are doing in the middle of the night. <laughs> uh, during the day, we literally just swap back and forth. We're like, here, I've had her for a little bit. Here you go. Um, I changed the diaper last time, or I fed her last time, and we just go back and forth. Sometimes I do three in a row. Sometimes he does three in a row. We just do whatever, and whoever is not doing anything at that time, does the next You one. know what? I think we should just switch back to traditional stuff and you just do everything and I'll just play video yeah. games or whatever. <laughs> okay, sounds like a plan. We don't do a traditional roles here because we are a team. Whatever needs to be done gets done by both of us. I don't think Madeline needs to do everything because no, we're a team. I think you need to do everything. It blows my mind that people think, oh, yep, just because she's a woman, she needs to do everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. I don't know if anybody asked this question, but I am actually exclusively pumping now mm -hmm. so that Steven can feed her bottles. I'm not doing breastfeeding, but I am. She is getting breast milk through yeah. pumping. So I wanted to do that so that if I needed to go leave, Steven can still have a bottle for her. I don't have to be like, oh, Tied that's down during to the house. her. Yeah. yeah, that's during her feeding time. I can't go. Or Steven's home and then she gets hungry and I'm gone and he has nothing. I don't to have milk. Have. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have milk to give her. I did that for my mental health mainly and also for my family and friends to be able to feed her because feeding babies is really fun. I loved the experience. I did it the first like four or five days. Mm -hmm. um, but since then, I've just been pumping. Next question. <laughs> Steven, how did you land such a sexy wife? Oh Honestly, I have, no, I have no idea. Was that funny? That was so funny. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> love you. I love you. Steven, how is Madeline so- Stop, okay. babe. That's <laughs> not the question. Okay. Do you think you'll move into a bigger house? Eventually, as you guys know, the housing market is still insane. We were to sell our house. Yeah, we'd make some money, but we'd have to spend it right back on another house. So. We like where we are. We love it. Super close to our parents. Yeah, yeah. And it's just we we got super lucky with the house that we have, and it's not a bad house to raise a family in. So no, and we'll probably stay here for a couple more years. We are kind of outgrowing it a little bit, um, but we're trying to make it work. I do need to purge a lot more stuff. I feel like I've purged so much, but I need to purge even more. When we get a little bit older, we'll we will. But yeah. right now. It's a perfect little home for us. Yeah. What's the hardest part of parenting so far? For me, I feel like it's when she's crying 
and you can't like explain to her like it'll be okay like it'll be okay yeah even though she doesn't do that a whole lot mm -hmm. it's still i wish she was like okay like because she's obviously in some sort of discomfort she definitely so, has stomach pain stomach yeah. issues and she will be like screaming crying to where she like stops breathing for yeah. like two three seconds like you're trying to be like it's okay like it'll come out eventually yeah. <laughs> like it's so sad that's like the hardest part for me is i'm just like I want to be able to like explain to her. Yeah. She gets past it really quickly yeah. after, but yeah, that's just been probably the hardest part for me. Uh, for me, it would probably be like the sleeping situation because I am a heavy sleeper. And so getting used to that, and I try to tell him out, I'm like, dude, wake me up so I can help you because I want to be He's able to help. He's gotten a lot better. Yeah, if you guys haven't watched the first night as parents video, you should watch that because that's hilarious. And <laughs> I don't think I'm that bad anymore. No, I, you're I wake not. up. Were you scared for labor? What research did you do? How did you mentally prepare? I was definitely very scared of labor but I did not do any research, <laughs> not a single thing of research. That may not be a strategy for you, but for me, I genuinely believe that was what made my labor so smooth. I agree. Um, I will be doing an in-depth, like my labor story video here in a little bit. I did not do research because I am not a medical type of person at all. I put my full faith in my doctors and my nurses. I absolutely love them. So I was like, they're going to have me in their best interest. I like, I'm not even kidding you guys. I forgot you could even tear. Like, I did not even, like, think about that. Like, I didn't think about, I don't know. Like, it just, I didn't psych myself out or work myself up with thinking, like, oh, well, this could go wrong. I didn't even think about how the epidural could fail. Like, yeah. I totally blocked all that out. I knew I had heard about that before, but in the moment, like, I did not Adrenaline remember. Adrenaline starts rushing. Yeah, um, and so I genuinely believe that me not doing research helped me a lot by staying calm and not like thinking about the negatives that could go wrong. Mentally preparing, I just kept telling myself like, my body's made to do this. We got a team full of professionals right here that are literally trained to do this and they do it all the time all day every day yeah like that's what they're there for i had a medicated birth and that was amazing stay tuned for a labor video coming up soon um i don't know when i will film it but it will be up eventually where does her name come from what was your inspiration honestly we don't know <laughs> i don't honest i don't know either like i think just one day we were like i really like that name we, we had to have seen it somewhere i don't know where we saw it we had already had it picked and then i started looking at like the top 10 yeah. girl name top 100 girl names and luna had started like skyrocketing up the chart i wonder what it's at now was that like 11 or something i don't know we had already like decided on that name the reason why like we already decided that too is because first of all it's a pretty name i love it mm -hmm. um and second i am in love Love with space like space is like my nerd talk like <laughs> I love talking about space and how infinite it is it's crazy moon and stars all I that. love the moon and Luna means moon yeah and it's just yeah a gorgeous name and I feel like it fits her I know a lot of people are like that's my dog's name that's my cat's name somebody well, else is like dude you're not you're naming an adult not a cat like not an animal like we took that into that. consideration <laughs> yeah. like yeah we can see an adult named luna there is a lot of like lunas that are adults right now yeah. like i've seen a lot of comments saying oh that's my name and i'm blah 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 i'm 28 years old i think it's a name in like harry potter or something too yeah, that's another thing people are like oh you guys are harry potter fans or like no <laughs> i did not know that that was in harry potter um but it is a name but we also did think it was pretty funny that our cats names are michael and mia <laughs> which is like human names and then apparently we named our daughter after a cat name it is on the rise right now so you guys are probably going to be seeing that name a lot more but we think it is such a beautiful name and it suits our daughter yeah well does luna have a middle name yes and we are keeping that to ourselves. You guys will never know. <laughs> no, we decided that we wanted to keep it to ourselves because everything else is on the internet. 
for everybody to see not everything but we, we do put, put a lot yeah. out there so we just know that some people like they don't want like other kids to know their middle name so like in school we don't want kids to know if she doesn't want people to know her middle name we want her to be able to decide that yeah not us just be like oh this is her middle name whatever it's not a bad middle name at all it's not anything embarrassing or whatever i don't think it is i don't think so either <laughs> um but yeah we just want to keep it to us we hope you guys understand that and we're trying to think about her too in the future if she wants people to know her middle name or not yeah. has any daily tasks changed since having a baby yes i do the laundry all the freaking time yeah. and i'm always at the sink cleaning bottles and my pump parts and everything that's true and i'm always cleaning up and holding the baby yeah, that's, I feel, that's what we do. I feel like our house too, we're cleaning it every single day. We're like, all no, right, we, we gotta clean this. We do, <laughs> we do. It's so bad, because something will happen. Like she'll start crying or she needs to be fed or she needs a diaper change. And or it's like, bath time and yeah, we just throw stuff. We stop what we're doing and we tend to her first, because I'd rather yeah. tend to her first than have her be screaming, you know? Those are definitely like the daily tasks I mm -hmm. feel like that have changed. Um, I'm not getting to puzzle as much as I used to or just hang out and do nothing. Um, but that's what we were talking about that we were so excited for her to be here because yeah. we felt like we did nothing all day long. Like yeah. now I have a purpose. We do have a purpose to now. do like, stuff. Like, it was so like just, we were in a slump for a long time. Just like, bored and like, I feel like we're doing nothing. Like I feel like we're just rotting away, but like yeah. now, our energy and time is put to this. Yeah. <laughs> so, have the cats got used to Luna yet? I would say so. They're mm -hmm. get they're definitely still getting used to her. It's definitely a lot better than what it was. They have never hissed. They have never scratched or pawed or anything. They've just been curious. And mm -hmm. I think that is so, like, I'm so proud of the cats for being nice and being like, okay, this thing, whatever this is, is small and it's defenseless. And so they have been so kind to her and I'm so glad that they have been. Yeah, when we first got home from the hospital, we did record it like just on our phone. We sat her down and let the cats go up to her and like smell her. They both were just super curious and was confused on what was going on because we weren't like immediately going to them and like loving on them and stuff. But we wanted to give them like their own space to smell her and whatnot. They smelled her, walked away, and that was that. From there, like the whole like rest of the night, they just kept coming up to her and like smelling her. Again, like we said, never hissed, never pawed or scratched or whatever. And that night they didn't sleep on the bed with us like they normally do, but they did sleep in the room on the floor. But the next night they were up on the bed with us. <laughs> Another thing that people always say is like, whenever you have a kid, you forget your animals. And honestly, I don't think that's happened with us because mm -hmm. it's just so, e it's so much easier whenever you have cats because- They're chill, they're not like trying to run all over the house. Exactly, and they'll come up to us and rub up against us and we'll still play with them and like scratch their fluff and everything. We it's, have been giving them more treats yeah. than normal to get them like, like you're not forgotten, I promise yeah. this is a good thing. And we've just been really trying hard. We just don't want them to feel like they've been replaced. I know that's so lame, but it's like, there are, ba <laughs> there are babies too. I was gonna too. say, there are first yeah. babies, our first boy and girl. Yeah. <laughs> Does she cry a lot, especially through the night? Also, love your guys' channel. Thank, Thank you. you. And she actually does not cry at night. No. It's mainly like the ending of the night, like around 6 p.m., 7 o'clock, I yeah. feel like is when her like... That's whenever she has tummy issues. Mm -hmm. But in the middle of the night, she actually doesn't. No. She eats, goes back to sleep, and does it again. She'll just whimper like, I'm hungry. Yeah. And then... Wait, she says that? Yeah, she does. And then she will eat, go back to sleep. It's pretty nice. Yeah. And honestly, she really doesn't cry that often. Mm -hmm. um, she's a really good baby. Like, mm -hmm. she's amazing. Um, and the only time she really cries is whenever her tummy hurts or she's hungry or she needs a diaper change. Literally, that's like she just doesn't wail mm -hmm. at all. So yeah, I would say like a total of like throughout the day of like an hour of crying. Yeah. All right, the last question that we have is, I have the lowest pain tolerance. I'm terrified to give birth. Was it as bad as you thought? Again, I will be doing an in-depth labor vlog, um, but congratulations to you. And don't be terrified, go into it with a great mindset. Um, your doctors and nurses are there to help you. Um, I will say that I had a medicated birth, so I got the epidural and that was like the greatest thing for me because I also have a very, very low pain tolerance. That's true, you guys are in the same boat. Yeah, so the only reason why my birth looked so easy and like I was not screaming or whatever was I had an epidural and it didn't fail. 
Um, so if that is something that you are wanting to do, I highly recommend it. I know there are a lot of risks and whatnot, so maybe look into that to make sure that it is something that you want to do. Or but... you could do what Madeline did and don't do any research and go in <laughs> trusting the doctors. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm talking about like yeah. how it can cause like back pain and back okay. issues and stuff like that. But whenever you do your research, don't scare yourself. Yeah, um, your body is made to do this. You got this. Even if you had to have a C-section, um, you'll get through it. I know that that is a really hard um, recovery, but hopefully you have a good support system mm -hmm. and that people will be there to help you through that. Um, but you got this. It'll be great. Have a great mindset, and um, I do need to do an updated hospital bag video, like yeah. what I actually brought or yeah, that's what we why. actually used. Yeah, because <laughs> we did overpack. For alert, we definitely overpacked. Yeah, I would also say another thing with that is Madeline got pressured by a lot of people to do a natural birth, no medicine at all. And honestly, I would say like. It's your pregnancy. You should feel as comfortable as you want to feel. Like, mm. you get to choose what you want. If you want to do a natural, go all out. I don't care if people get natural births. I don't care if people get medical births or medicated births. All I care about is that you and her come out okay. Like, that's literally the only thing that matters. You don't get brownie points if you, oh, I didn't use any medicine. <laughs> but I do understand why people do want to do a natural birth, no medicine. I think it's called unmedicated and medicated. I think, like, technically I had a natural, a natural birth. Because it was vaginal birth. I th I don't know. What is the correct terminology? I hope you guys understand what I mean when I say natural birth. And yeah. I'm doing the quotes to kind of, like, emphasize, you know, so. Yeah, because, like, medicated Unmedicated, unmedicated in a natural birth? I don't know. Hopefully yeah. <laughs> understand what I mean, but don't let other people sway your, your decision that yeah. you get to make. If you want to so. have unmedicated, go for it. If you want to have medicated, go for it. Yeah. It's an option. It's there. Might as well do it. Yeah. If you want to. <laughs> and I wanted to. <laughs> and I did great. <laughs> I think that's all for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If there's more questions, maybe we can do another yeah, video. Part two. Especially when we're like more into like parenthood. I yeah. know our question or our answers are probably gonna change to some of these. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to get notified every single time we post a video, hit that subscribe button and that bell so you guys get notified every single time we post a video. Thank you guys so much for all of the support recently. I mean, it has been an overwhelmingly amount and it's, we are so grateful. We have a great support system at home. Shout out to both of our parents. They have helped us tremendously. We're in a good spot and we're really happy right now. Like the happiest we've ever been. Yeah, so. we are loving the parent life yeah. for sure. Right. And we love our little girl. So much. It's like mm -hmm. crazy how much we love her. We hope you guys are having a great day or night or whenever you're watching this. Always remember to be kind and we hope to see you guys in our next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.